Well, Derek, you left it late, but a fully deserved point. And looking at the game, you, you perhaps deserve to win it. Yeah, we definitely deserve to win the game, you know, because um, if you look at their goalkeeper, he's had some really outstanding saves. Um, we had 19 attempts in goal to Portsmouth's nine. Uh, so that tells you how dominant we were in the game. We had so many good opportunities to, to win the game by a greater margin and uh, we deserve more than a point today. We deserve the full, you know, three points. We're all here. We're really happy we got the point. But are you, in a way, a bit disappointed that you didn't get the three? Yeah, I am, because how dominant we were in the afternoon. Um, Portsmouth are a very good side. You know, I've known that over the years, but um, they didn't uh, cause us much trouble today. And uh, I think that that's testament to the team. But on the flip side, the amount of good opportunities we had. You know, if we had won four or five, one today, nobody could have complained. Um, we were outstanding all over the pitch and, uh, you know, an, an excellent performance from us. You mentioned a couple of weeks ago that you thought things were beginning to click and that performance again followed on from the other performances at Charlton and uh, Burton Albion. It is clicking and it's clicking fast. Yeah, I mean, we've obviously put ourselves in a you know much better position than we were in when we first came into the club and uh, I think that that's important. We've had a lot of tough fixtures uh, to go with and uh, we've still got two huge you know, games to come but uh, you know, to put ourselves in the position we were in or we are in now and to play as well as we did today was outstanding. Usman Fane got the Man of the Match award but it could have gone to so many players, couldn't it today? Yeah, it could have been. You know, I think that... Um, you know. Over the piece, I thought that uh, you know, out of possession, we were very good. In possession, you know, we created some really good opportunities in the game, and uh, you know, we deserve to be you know further ahead in the match. Two games to go. Uh, what do you say to your players now? Yeah, we've got to go to MK Dons next, which is a tough fixture because MK Dons are at the top of the the, the league and uh, you know pushing for an automatic promotion place. And then we're at home to Sunderland, and uh, they've got it all to play for. So. Um, you know, two exciting games for us, but you know we put ourselves in a much better position. That's all you can ask, and uh, you know we've made you know the Morecambe fans very proud tonight. Talking of the Morecambe fans, nearly five thousand here again today. They were fantastic, weren't they? Yeah, I mean I believe it was the record home attendance. Uh, you know, since coming to uh, the ground, and uh, I think that you know shows the support they've got for the football club, and they've seen a very good game today, and uh, seen a lot of good opportunities, and uh, they'll just be delighted to. You know, they see their team pick up a point and they'll really feel that they should have picked up three. What has changed in the past few weeks? What have you done different than what was happening before? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you that, <laughs> but uh, I have got a group of players that, um, you know, are working for the cause and uh, I think that the players deserve all the credit. It's them that go on the park and uh, fight and scrap for every ball. It's them that defend and uh, go and create, you know, opportunities. And uh, we've got a tight-knit group squad now that uh, are doing well. As it stands now, hopes of survival have much improved in recent weeks, but you've still got a bit to do yet. Yeah, we've still got a lot to do, you know, tough games to come. And uh, I think that that's, you know, something that uh, we've got to deal with. But, um, you know, tonight we've added another point to our points total, which, uh, you know, helps us.